Uh, why exactly we needed a uh, second name or alias of a table so guys from security point of view it is required because uh, let's say for example i have developed some product and in that i have some core table now uh, i do not want to expose my original table name then in that case i will give the alias to client wherever they are using or okay so that is nothing but your synonym so in short what i can say that we create a secondary name or second name of a table so that is called as a synonym and rest of the things we will see in the practical session how we can create what is the other thing we need to take care and all this stuff okay so let's begin with the, our practical session So guys, before I start my today's session, I would like to tell that uh, how many users I have on my SQL developers so that I would like to tell first and then later on we will discuss how to create the synonym and all stuff. Okay, so this is my very first user which is your HR user. This is my Scott user and this is my system user. Okay, now system user is the uh, system and it has the all the privileges to control this database. Okay. So this is the uh, system user. These are the my normal user. Now let's understand how exactly we can create the synonym. So just right now we have seen this syntax part and uh, let me explain over here this syntax part what exactly this is. So whatever you can see over here in the blue except this schema everything is uh, your keywords. Okay. Now what is this schema and what is this schema? This is schema is nothing but uh, for whom you are creating the synonym okay and over here you need to give the synonym name and from which user you are creating the synonym so let's say for example i want to create the synonym for the my scott user then what i need to give over here hr dot object name and over here what i need to give scott dot synonym name just like this over here you can see over here this is how you need to give and this is also how you need to give okay so in case over here uh, what we are creating we are creating the public user so that is the reason over here we do not need to give the any username or any schema over here since it's a public over here since we are creating the private uh, synonym for the scott user so that's the reason over here we are giving what exactly we are doing over here over here we are creating the emp2 synonym from the HR user for the score okay so this is what exactly it mean now over here you can question that what exactly the object name object name can be this one okay just right now we have seen synonym name you can give anything whatever you want to give now let's create the uh, one synonym and let's see so guys <coughs> uh, before I create any synonym uh, I would like to tell that if you are facing any insufficient uh, privileges issue then you can go to the system user and you can fire this command and you can grant the permission to create the synonym in the HR user so uh, you can fire this command so let me fire over here this command and uh, now over here you can see uh, grant has been success uh, succeeded okay now I am able to create the synonym in my HR user so what exactly i am doing i am creating one synonym called the emp2 for the scott user and from the hr user okay so let me fire over here this command so you can see over here this uh, command got succeeded and let me show you over here uh, synonym has got created or not so i have created the uh, emp2 synonym however over here it is giving the table or view does not exist why because HR user has not given the permission to view to the Scott user so now what I need to do I need to give the permission to Scott user on the 
EMP2. So let me give over here. So this is how we will give the permission to Scott user to view and do all the thing what he can do on this uh, synonym. Now I will be able to see the result in the EMP2. Okay. So this is how I am uh seeing and this is what the result is so what exactly we have done over here so we have created the emp2 synonym from the employee table okay employee table uh, over here this is the employee table and this is the second name of the employee table so whatever content i have in the employee table or i can say that emp table uh, that will be visible to over here. So that's all uh, from this synonym. Okay. Now over here, let me create the public synonym as well. So <coughs> uh, let me create over here public synonym. Just it will be visible to everyone. Okay. So let me create over here public synonym. So uh, what ha exactly happened? So you can see over here, I'm getting the insufficient privileges. So what I need to do, I need to go over here and I need to give the uh, create permission of the synonym or I can say that I need to give the permission to HR user to create the public synonym. So let me type over here and let me fire this command. So now you can see over here a uh, grant has been uh, given and now I will be able to create the synonym. So you can see over here the permission uh, has been given and the uh, synonym has created. Now I can see over here EMP1. So you can see over here no need to give the permission to EMP1 uh, or to uh, sorry to Scott user or any user on the EMP1. Over here earlier what we have done we have given the permission grant permission but in this case we haven't given. So what exactly we have done over here we have created the synonym for the EMP table of the name of EMP1 okay. So that's uh, the thing we have done and uh, synonym is nothing but it's a secondary name. And uh, guys, one more thing I would like to tell about the synonym is synonym doesn't hold any data. It's a just a secondary name or I can say that it's alias. That's it. And guys, one more thing I would like to tell that over here, actual data will be in the EMP table, not in the EMP1 synonym. Okay, guys. So this is the one of the interview question or somebody can ask. So you can answer that actual data will be reside in the EMP table rather than the EMP1. Okay. So this is all about the synonym, how to create. Now let's see how to drop the synonym. Okay. So this is the, uh, let me remove this over here and let me show you. So this is the syntax of the drop synonym. So as I already told you, whatever in the blue, it's a keyword. Uh, and uh, uh, this is a schema from where you want to drop the synonym and what exactly this means force means uh, if a synonym has any dependency then also it will allow to drop the synonym so this is what the exactly mean of the force okay and this is the synonym name what synonym you want to drop so let me drop over here this synonym so simple very simple no need to do anything and no explanation is required now you can sh i can show you emp2 is does not exist so you can see over here so i have dropped it so this is how you can drop and this is how you can create the synonym so that's all for the day so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the synonym is and if you have any feedback then please don't forget to let me know in the comment box thank you so much for watching for the video bye take care